Thomas the Hermit, and this is the fourth day, second part. Okay. So we were talking about um, how it is God who loved us. Okay. Now we're going to talk about something a little subjective. I have a question for you. Why are you watching this video? And there might be a myriad of different things, you know, you're, you're surfing YouTube or you saw something or, you know, what's that uh, guy, you know, sitting in the flowers? Uh, uh, Oh, contemplation. Okay, what is that? Or that's something I'm interested in. Okay, I want you to consider that you believe that you are making a decision to create an action and are interested in contemplation, let's say. Okay, um, if you, if you begin to think about it or you begin to be sensitive to what is going on inside of you, um, you might be able to discover God's actual drawing. What, what does it feel like or what is the experience of God drawing me to Him? See, God draws us to Himself. Do you desire to go to a quiet place and reflect? Do you like thinking about the things of God or scriptures? Do you have a delight or a joy uh, when you hear a particularly good sermon? We're not talking about one that is in agreement with you, but one that makes you on fire for the love of God. God is drawing you. It isn't that you loved God, but that He loved you. And it wasn't that you went seeking for Him, but He came seeking for you. Come then, my beloved. God is seeking you. What is, what is that experience all about? Let's quiet ourselves down. And we're going to extend this period of, of prayer and we're going to enter more deeply into it. When I calm myself down, that will mean, you know, that I'm going to breathe a little slower and that I'm going to put my mind on one thing. I'm going to put my mind on God. And put your mind on a newly defined God, the infinite one, the one, the one God, and the one God and three persons. Put your mind on that God. Keep it there. And gently let yourself fall. And let yourself go beyond your understanding and beyond your mind. Quiet down. Listen. I'm going to say a little prayer. Lord Jesus, we come to you. We ask you to enlighten our minds and our understanding, to comprehend greater the length and breadth and width of your love and the love of the Father the love of the Holy Spirit. 
we ask to transcend, to go beyond our limitations of our own minds, our own persons, and our own lives, and to listen to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Jesus is calling you. He says, come then, my love, my lovely one, come. My dove hiding in the rocks, for your face is beautiful and your voice is lovely. Thomas the Hermit. This is the fourth day. And I'll talk to you later.